pretty there. Ever wondered about the amazing stories hidden in the heart of Palestine? We're about to take you on a special journey to discover the cool history and awesome culture of this fantastic place. From ancient tales to super cool traditions, get ready to explore the exciting secrets that make Palestine so unique. It's like opening a treasure chest of stories that show how awesome and resilient the people here are. Join us as we uncover the incredible richness of Palestine's past and present. Welcome to the Fact Spot. How long ago, there were people in Palestine, and we find their old stuff underground. Imagine finding an ancient treasure chest Archaeologists keep finding more cool things that tell us how these people lived. The history of Palestine is marked by the rise and fall of mighty empires, the Romans, Byzantines, and Ottomans. Each left its imprint on the land, contributing to the diverse cultural mosaic that defines present-day Palestine. It's like a big puzzle, and with every new discovery, we learn more about their homes, what they ate, and the neat things they made. Travel back thousands of years and meet the Canaanites, Phoenicians, and Hebrews, the ancient peoples who once walked these lands. Their stories are etched in the stones of archaeological sites, revealing a complex tapestry of cultures that contributed to the rich heritage of Palestine. Palestine is like a special land where important religions began. It's like the birthplace of stories that people believe in. Think of it as the home of stories that teach us about love, kindness, and faith. Special buildings, like really old churches and mosques, are like magical places where these stories come alive for people who believe in them. Palestine isn't just one type of place. It's like a mix of cool spots. You've got beaches, mountains, and all sorts of weather. This mix makes life interesting and fun. Each area has its own story, like why some places have lots of trees and others have sandy beaches. It's like nature's own adventure book. Special places in Palestine, like the Western Wall, are like giant history hugs for people who follow different religions. These places aren't just buildings. They're like cozy corners where stories from ancient times are whispered. Nazareth, a city with a spiritual aura, is like a beacon for pilgrims and history enthusiasts. It's in Nazareth that the Church of the Annunciation stands, a symbol of religious significance that draws visitors from around the world. Nablus, with its lively markets and ancient architecture, it's like a living testament to the rich trade history of Palestine. The aroma of spices, the sounds of merchants, and the historical sites make Nablus a place where the past seamlessly blends with the present. The Six-Day War in 1967 unfolded like a gripping chapter in the intricate story of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict marking a seismic shift in the region's dynamics. During those intense days, Israel gained control over the West Bank and Gaza Strip, altering the geopolitical map. This occupation set the stage for complex challenges and negotiations, becoming a pivotal moment in the ongoing struggle for peace and self-determination. The aftermath of the Six-Day War wasn't just about redrawn borders. It was about families separated. Homes changed, and communities grappling with a new reality. It's a reminder that conflicts, even in a short span, can echo for generations, influencing the everyday lives of those caught in their midst. The war set the stage for subsequent negotiations, peace talks, and international intervention. It's like a negotiation table where the past, present, and future of the region were debated, with each side striving for a resolution that would honor their aspirations and rights. Even today, discussions around the Israeli-Palestinian conflict often refer back to the events of those six days in 1967. It's a historical touchstone, a reference point that shapes contemporary perspectives and informs the ongoing quest for a just and lasting resolution. 
Reflecting on the Six-Day War invites us to learn from history, to understand the complexities of the conflict, and to appreciate the human dimensions behind geopolitical decisions. It's a call to engage with the past, not just as a series of events, but as a tapestry woven with the threads of individual stories, hopes, Now, let's explore the idea of the Palestinian diaspora. It's like a big family that isn't all in one place. Palestinians live all over the world in countries like Jordan, Lebanon, the United States, and various places in Europe. Think of it as spreading the love and stories of Palestine to different corners of the globe. Even though they're far from their homeland, Palestinians in the diaspora keep a strong connection to their roots. Imagine having relatives in different countries, all carrying a piece of home in their heart. The Palestinian diaspora is like a global family, sharing a common heritage while adding a touch of Palestine to the cultures they now call. Now, let's dive into the vibrant world of creativity in Palestine. Imagine it a canvas where every brushstroke, dance move, and new creation adds a splash of color to the rich cultural tapestry. People in Palestine love to show who they are through dancing, drawing, and making cool. Step onto the dance floor and imagine the traditional Davka dance. It's not just a series of rhythmic steps. It's a joyful expression of unity and celebration. Murti communities come together, moving to the beat, creating a living artwork with every dance step. Move forward to modern expressions, where Palestinian artists create music that resonates globally. It's like plucking the strings of the oud or strumming a guitar to tell stories of resilience, love, and the diverse experiences of the Palestinian people. Palestinian food is like a tasty adventure, filled with flavors that tell stories of tradition and resourcefulness. From crunchy falafel to creamy hummus, each dish has a tale to share. Imagine it as a grand feast where everyone's invited. The cuisine is a mix of yummy surprises, with dishes like makluba and naif offering a journey through a diverse palette of tastes. Every dish is like a messenger, carrying stories of the past and hopes for the future. It's a way of saying, this is who we are, and this is what we cherish. Now, Let's talk about Warkinab, a popular dish made from stuffed grape leaves. It's like a delicious gift wrap filled with rice, veggies, and spices. Each bite is a burst of flavors that dance on your taste buds. Palestinian cuisine is a story of sharing, especially in hard times. It's like passing a warm plate of food to a friend saying, even when things are tough, we can find joy in a good meal together. Palestinian cuisine is more than just food. It's a memory maker. Whether it's a family gathering or a festive celebration, the aroma of Palestinian dishes fills the air with warmth and a sense of togetherness. Let's dive into the world of traditional Palestinian clothing, where the thob and kufi aren't just garments. They're storytellers. They're like walking pieces of art that speak of heritage and pride. Imagine the thob and kufi as canvases waiting to be painted with stories. But instead of paint, skilled hands use needles and threads. Each stitch is a whisper, a tiny tail woven into the fabric, creating a tapestry of cultural richness that goes beyond mere clothing. Different colors like red, green, and black are chosen randomly. They're carriers of meaning. Red might symbolize courage. Green could represent the land. And black may signify the deep connection to history. It's like a visual language that speaks volumes without saying a word. The thob isn't just worn. It's inherited, passed down from mothers to daughters. It carries not only the weight of fabric, but also the weight of tradition. It's a symbol of continuity, a bridge connecting the past present and future. Let's unravel the linguistic beauty of Palestine. Imagine languages as colorful threads, 
each contributing to the vibrant fabric of Palestinian communication. Arabic takes the center stage, but the linguistic stage is broad, featuring English and even a touch of Aramaic in certain regions. The official language is Arabic, and it's like a melody echoing through the streets, markets, and homes. But that's not all. There's a rich tapestry of languages that add unique hues to the cultural landscape. Arabic is like the heartbeat of Palestine. It's the language of daily life, the words that weave through conversations, the poetry that echoes through the hills. Palestinian Arabic has its own regional variations, making it a unique dialect that binds people together. Language in Palestine isn't just a means of communication. It's a form of art. Poets and writers use the beauty of Arabic to capture the essence of Palestinian identity, preserving stories, struggles, and aspirations in verses that resonate through generations. Palestinian schools often teach in multiple languages. It's like preparing the younger generation to navigate a world where linguistic diversity is an asset. Fluency in Arabic, English, and sometimes Aramaic becomes a tool for broader learning and understanding. Think about kids and teens in Palestine. They're like architects planning and building a future. They go to school, think of smart ideas, and dream of a time when everyone can be happy. Their dreams are like seeds that grow into trees of hope, making tomorrow bright for everyone in Hey, fabulous viewers, if you're vibing with the content, smash that like button, drop a comment, let's chat. And don't forget to hit subscribe for more awesome vibes. We're building something epic together.